Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just a uh, REIT article here, uh, three REITs with ultra-safe dividends. Um, as you can see, this just uh, came out yesterday. Uh, real estate investment trusts or REITs uh, can be a great for uh, generating passive income. Most REITs pay above average dividends backed by a steady rental income. Uh, as you follow my channel, I've uh, talked about quite a few different REITs here on the channel. Um, not any of these three. I think I've talked about um, O Realty Income in the past, um, but there's two other ones here you might be interested in. So, however, uh, some REIT dividends are safer than others. Uh, three of the safest in the uh, sector are those paid by Prologus, PLD, Camden Properties Trust, CPT, and Reality Income O. Uh, Prologus is a rock-solid uh, dividend stock. Uh, the leading industrial REIT uh, pays a slightly above average uh, dividend. It yields a 1.8 versus the S&P 1.4 dividend yield. Prologus uh, backs that payout with an exceptional financial profile and high-quality real estate portfolio. It owns a global portfolio of logistics properties uh, secured by long-term leases with high-quality tenants. Portfolio generated about $3.2 billion of funds from operations last year, and those funds uh, covered the uh, company more than a $1.9 billion dividend outlay with uh, plenty of room to spare. That enabled uh, Prologus to retain, retain uh, cash its fund, its development uh, program. Prologus also has a, a top-tier balance sheet with a top a-rated uh, credit, uh, giving it significant financial flexibility. So it already has a cash flow and has an enormous upside. Uh, thanks to a strong demand for industrial properties, the company has embedded $1.2 billion income opportunity and existing leases expire, and it captures the current market rental rates. So the combination of cash flow, a conservative uh, payout ratio, strong balance sheet, and upside potential uh, put its payout in the safest foundations in the REIT sector. It also uh, has enabled the uh, REIT to continue growing its dividend. So if we uh, go over here to uh, Robinhood and look at it, this is a look at uh, Prologus. And here's a look at what they've uh, done over the last year. So right now at $140.76, uh, you could have got it um, a year, almost a year ago for a 95.64. So it has uh, gained 33.28% in the last year. In the last three months, it's down 6.7%. In the last month, down about 7.5%. In the last week, down 2.25%. And here in, uh, today, it's actually down as well. Uh, so they engage in the provision of real estate investment trust services, operates through a real estate operations and strategic capital segments. Founded in 1991, volume of 2.36 million, 3 million on the average, $107.11 billion market cap, 52 week low of 94.14 and a 52 week high of 169.93. Pretty good ratings on this one at 76%. And here's a look at their last earnings. Uh, next is expected on April 18th in the pre-market. So um, there's some other decent stocks. It looks like everything's in the red today. So, But that is it for uh, Prologus. Next on the uh, list is uh, Camden Properties. Uh, the trust also is having a ultra-safe dividend. The apartment rate currently offers an above-average 2.3 yielding payout. It supports uh, that the uh, top nudge financial profile and well located uh, real estate portfolio apartments uh, tend to be resilient investments because of a relatively steady demand. However, Kimden takes things a, a few steps further to provide additional support to its dividend. For starters, it focuses on owning apartments in the 15 of the fastest growing markets, uh, primarily in the Sunbelt region. Uh, demand for apartments in that uh, part of the country is strong, uh, which has an occupancy and rental rates uh, rising. Uh, the providing uh, Camden with the uh, fast-growing rental income uh, stream to support the dividend. It also has a reasonably conservative dividend payout ratio of about 60% of its adjusted FFO, even after 
providing its investors with a sizable boost for 2022. In addition, uh, Camden has an A-rated uh, credit backed by low leverage uh, ratio and unlimited near-term debt maturities. Balance uh, sheet flexibility combines with the uh, retained uh, post-dividend cash flow to give Camden the uh, funds to expand its portfolio. And so if we go over here to Robinhood and look at Camden Property Trust, or uh, ticker CPT, Currently at $162.12, it's up over 53%, almost 54. Could have got in a dip there, almost at the $100 mark, and currently at 162, even after the slight fall off here in the last week or so. In the last three months, is down 2.4%. In the last month, it's in the green 5.24%. Here in the last week, down 0.78%. And here today, down 0.80%. And so they are a firm that engages in the ownership, management, development, reposition, and redevelopment acquisition. Been around since 1993, volume of 1.193, and average of 959,000. So it's actually up a little bit, a $16.77 billion market cap. 52-week low of 99.70 and a high of $180.37. 59% on the uh, ratings on this one on a buy. And here's the next earnings expected on April uh, 28th after hours. So that is it for uh, Camden property. Next on the list is... Reality Income uh, built its business to deliver dependable dividends to its investors. Uh, this is the one that I've heard about the most. The retail uh, REIT uh, currently offers a 4.4% uh, yielding payout that supports uh, with the uh, one of the most conservative investment approaches in the sector. Reality Income owns a large-scale portfolio of single-tenant properties, net lease to high-quality Tenants, the uh, REIT uh, focuses on triple net leases uh, because the tenant focuses maintenance, insurance, and real estate taxes. As a result, reality income generates very stable rental income. Meanwhile, it focuses on properties essential to the tenant's operations, while its primary concentrates on retail 80% of its portfolio. Meanwhile, uh, Reality Income is a, a top-tier financial profile. It had a conservative dividend payout ratio of 76.7% of its AFFO in the uh, most recent quarter and an A-rated balance sheet uh, backed by a low leverage ratio for the REIT sector. So if we go over here to Robinhood, and pretty easy ticker is O. Currently at $65.40, it's up at about 7.70%. In the last three months, it's down about 7.6%. Last month, down 1.3%. And here in the past week, down 2.5%. And here today, it's down 1.2%. If you don't know much about this one, it's a real estate company that engages in generating dependable monthly cash dividends from consistent and predictable levels of cash flow from operations. Been around since 1969. 3.72 million on the volume and average of 3.28. 39.92 billion dollar market cap and a 52 week low of 56.68 .56 and a high of 72 dollars and 55 cents and a 4.31 dividend yield. 52% buy on this one. And next earnings, oh, they just had earnings. So it looks like uh, 94 cents per share, so. But if you have any of these, you can list those in the uh, comments and uh, which is your favorite one out of uh, PLD, CPT, and O. And if there's any other REITs uh, you'd like me to make a video about it, happy to do that as well. Like I said, I've made uh, several REIT videos. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Forward Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.